Hey Dave, what are you doing? Lighting up charcoal to start getting it going. Couldn't we use just a bunch of lighter fluid? No. It's starting to get smoky though. That'll take 15 minutes or so. We're a little late because Kelly had to run back and get Kelly's stuff that she thought she lost and then can't find. And... A lot of problems. And she's late coming out because she didn't have a phone on. You didn't say you were going to let me come out. You just said, I'll pick you up I smells good, but you're looking at me. I don't know if I should go very close. Meat inspector. Chicken. Chicken. You want to do your chicken today? Oh, no. The cooler O meat. When you got a smoker this big, you, huh. might, you might as well, uh, you know, make it worthwhile. Yeah, I lost my gloves. Oh no, they're over here. All right, pause. All right, back in business. Pound brisket, trim down. These sizzles. Yeah, well, heat it up. Fur. Oh, dog hair? No, I don't know what it is. It <laughs> wasn't my fur. <laughs> What's that? Pork butt. I'm trying a different technique on that. I don't know if we're going to have room for sausage. We'll figure it out. Hold on, wait, wait, I'm going to finish up. So, brisket, pork butt, ribs. Pork butt. Oh, that's pork butt? Po two pork butts. Two pork butts. I thought we were doing ribs. Two cheeks. I thought you mentioned ribs. No, I said I looked for beef ribs, oh. and they didn't have any. Get the wood chunks out. So there we have our tray full of hot coals. Wood soap. Mesquite chips going on the fires. Yeah, one more. Alright, so those are the sausages that I made. No, not all of them, but some of the sausages I made in the sausage making class. There's also versions that Kelly made and Dave made. They are a lot more spicy. I tried to go for the Wishik sausage version. Although, Norwegian I, I did not get enough seasoning into them, which is why we're going to try smoking on them. Smoking. See if that'll help. Smoking on them. Smoke on them. Smoke on them. Needed more garlic, needed more salt, needed more pepper. Need Maybe more. needed some brown sugar. Anyway, those are the sausages. Add in some lemon juice. Just for documentation purposes, these are the sausages after being on the smoker for a couple hours. Nice and smoky smelling. And you can tell that... Uh, there are certain interested parties. Go Dave has a cat sitting by there. I can see the cat there. That pumpkin, she's hang she knows hanging out by Dave's a good idea. Here, one 
forgettable. Recovery time. side so Dave's gonna put the plastic uh, no, I didn't. and these have been on since what nine o'clock yeah so Four hours and fifteen minutes or so. And it's time to take them off when Dave decides he wants to go take a nap. So they have to go into the oven. <laughs> and sorry about that. Yeah. Kelly just, and it's already falling apart, yeah, coming cool. out of the... <laughs> <laughs> so, Kelly, here, here. Look at it. Apparently, the pork the butt's juicy. Do <laughs> you just want to wrap each one? Yeah, I'm wrap each one. Tag nabbit. What do you need? Another pickle in the bowl. Okay. I well, you could it. wrap it and then wrap again. It'll, it'll leak. Oh, because he already tore one yeah. down there. Yeah, that was Dave's potty mouth saying "dag nabbit." And the sound you hear in the background is the air conditioner going, because it's in the mid-80s here. and then it will yeah. burn off quicker. Yeah. Hear that? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's meat recovery. Oh, that
Alright. So, going in the oven at 250 to finish cooking. Alright, so how long was it in the oven? About four hours. And then an hour resting? Yep. Got that juice. Pork butt, also full of juice. Finish and wrap it here. Alright. Brisket on the cutting board. Or part of the brisket on the cutting board. Red smoke ring. Oh, yeah, red smoke ring. Yeah. Apparently very hot pork coming out of the wrapper. Oh. I'd, I'd say got her kind of tender. Only cool off a little bit. Pull apart with your fingers. Did Uncle Dave put something in your bowl? Any? we're not going to be able to see the barbecue he's eating. It's gone. And it got it gone already. All right. So the sides, we've got uh, cubed uh, rib potatoes with uh, oil and seasoning and uh, cheese and baked beans and corn. So here's the injector oh, sorry. that we have. I just kept knocking it, trying to knock and it's got two needles. You see the one with the uh, little holes and then there's oops, there we go. One that's just got a big open end and if your injection's got a lot of chunky stuff in it you want to use the one with the open end because the seasoning things will clog that. We bought that at the class or Kelly bought that for Dave at the class and we haven't used it yet. Alright. Kelly's plate. Got the taters and the beans and the corn and the brisket and the pulled pork. Did you use any barbecue sauce? No. Why? I'm not into barbecue sauce. And it's so good don't need it. That's right. That was I was supposed to say. <laughs> so now we have the post cook processing. Both pork butts have been Put in the one big container and completely shredded along with the juices. Mm -hmm. And then they're being portioned out into cool whip bowls to go into vacuum bags so that we can freeze it and reheat it. And we found our process, or actually Dave's process, it ends up being essentially like we just took it off the smoker. Nice and fresh and tasty as all get out. So that's why we cook so much at once and package it up. I missed the slicing of the brisket. I was busy watching any car race, but there's the brisket all portioned out. And then I think that's Kelly's take home container. Yeah, it's mine. 
leave here container. Where's Dave's take home container? He's not taking any. He's taking the donuts, the blueberry donuts. That's the meat, meat's all sitting on. A little Toki bonus, he gets to lick the uh, emptied out shredding pan. He thinks that's a pretty good bonus. <laughs>